In this first video for chapter 1.2, we will be using integration to find general solutions of differential equations. Let's first discuss what a general solution is. So often, differential equations will have several solutions. And we say that the solutions are indexed by a parameter. And this parameter is usually denoted C. So what is a parameter? A parameter is a constant in the solution such that the solution still works. when we change the value of the parameter. Here's an example. Consider the differential equation dy dx equals 0. Now this is a very simple equation you are asked to simply find a y whose derivative is 0. Now take a moment to think about a possible answer. Now, some of you would have thought of y equals 0 as a solution. And that is correct. The derivative of 0 is certainly 0. However, there are also several other solutions. Does y equals 1 work? Yes, the derivative of 1 is also 0. Now how about y equals 17.3? The derivative of 17.3 is also 0, and that also works. Now, thinking a little bit, you can see that y equals c is a solution for any c. So c is a parameter. The simplest technique to find a general solution is integration.
So we use integration when the left one side of the equation is a simple derivative or a second derivative. For example, the first derivative, the second derivative, 3y prime minus y prime, etc. And the other side of the equation is an expression involving x and constants but no y. So let's consider an example. If we have the differential equation dy dx equals 2x minus 3, we can check our conditions. We have an equation where one side is a derivative, that's the dy over here, and the other side is an expression involving x and constants, but no y. So this checks out, and we can use the technique of integration now what this means is that we simply integrate both sides of the equation. So dy dx, integrate in terms of dx, 2x minus 3 dx. Remember that integration is the inverse of differentiation so this means that the derivative the integral of the derivative is just going to be y itself as for this side of the equation the integral of 2x is going to be 2x squared over 2. The integral of 3 is going to be 3x. And we have to remember to add that plus c in the end. This plus c is the parameter that we were talking about. And this value is going to be our general solution to the equation dy dx equals 2x minus 3.